the sky. And one expert leading the way of mouse bots. Small margin and long range blocks connecting nicely to start things off. And it continues to spiral for the mouse bots boys. Every click out of Crims's Glock is something. Rops, however, partners up with Acor to keep it competitive. A Crims double. Yet to see the plant. Crims triple. Okay, guess he's just going to win the round on his own. Oh, Dexter here. He's in a decent position. The smoke and the kit would be more handy with some teammates to distract and parking the bus. Fanatic. They're not in a rush to get this one down. Did they spot Dexter on that little jiggle? Crims will pick up the bomb here. He's definitely seen him now. High oh. alert. High shot. Good shot, but not ready for the mezzy swing. Yeah, Excuse good me. stuff. Very good stuff there from Fnatic. And look, it was curious to not see them pick into overpass, right? So that conversation that I was having before and the one that Yanko was then elaborating on, mouse spots have not flexed the map pool on Fnatic today, which tells me one thing. They're afraid of the unknown, right? They don't want to go into what Fnatic may have in store. Now here, you can prepare a little bit for Mirage. They played it once. You can play uh, pre prepare a little bit for overpasses that third map. You can prepare a little bit for Nuke, but... Even still, one of the great things about having a new roster, and one that should be riding a little bit of a high right now, is you can be very flexible. Right? Nobody knows where you're going to throw, your pace changes, everything like that is still a bit of a mystery here. Yeah, and we saw Fnatic's Mirage just yesterday as well. You know, like this is fresh memories for Mouse Sports. Perhaps that was an encouraging factor. But I really enjoyed their CT setups. I really enjoyed that Fnatic phase uh, Mouse Sport, excuse me, Fnatic phase Mirage game. Uh, where you saw actually 11 CT rounds go Fnatic's way. So we didn't really get to see much of their T side. You know, we sort of played eight rounds. To, yeah. So we'll get a full 15 this time. But that's even scarier. It's still in the box here. So Mouse Sports going to have to deal with Alex and his boys who are making their way up. Cat flashed in. Yeah, it's a scary and threatening Deagle from Frozen, which is kept honest. Alex down, Crims hunting and leaping into the site. Well-managed movement and Acor's Deagle does nothing. Poor old Rops, and he's even potentially going to get flanked. I don't think he gets to keep a thing here. He's going to look to maintain the armor, and the scout just quietly tiptoeing away. Yeah, let's see how far he's allowed to go here. Brolin, probably not wanting to give up anything either. Chad, what, what are houses made out of in Australia? Houses? Yeah. Uh, like, in Western Australia, it's double brick. Double brick? Yeah. Okay. Is that like an insular to insulation kind of situation. I, I think so, because um, it's quite hot, and I think that yeah. brick keeps it cooler with the double brick, but in the uh, in the eastern states, they do uh, brick on the outside and then uh, wooden walls wooden with a bit of insulation. Board. Yeah, okay, cool. That's more Britain, I think. But mm. I was just wondering whether or not you had the experience that I did. When, when I said tiptoeing, you know, like when you were sneaking around the house and the family in the house was asleep, was asleep every floorboard that creaked? Did you have creaky stairs? We creaky had cork f floors. Cork? What? The my bloody hell is going on down there? My mother's a dancer, so, so she was able to use the entire house as a... So she had like a springy floor? Yeah. Well, it wasn't... Springy? It, it was better than carpet because you, could, you couldn't really make a mess. Could you? Would you conk, conk your head if you hit your head? Oh, it would hurt. Floor? It would. It would hurt. Yeah, I yeah. don't know the, the properties of cork intimately. You weren't playing silly buggers on the cork no floor. No silly buggers on the no. cork floor. And it wasn't tiles. The tiles were for the kitchens and the bathrooms. But I know what you're talking about. My grandma's house would be a good example yeah. of the floorboards. I started knowing the patches I could step on silently. Uh, that was all part of the game. The little traps. Rops's game is get a headshot and ruin Brolin's day. Whew, not to be today. He yeah. lost that one, didn't he? Dude, yeah. Brolin's org yesterday as well. Like, just straight up. I'm, I'm already talking about the CT side. I know we're three rounds into their attack, but Brolin's org looks so threatening. I it's think, interesting to note as well. Too. Well, they kept the three. Yeah, well, Mezzi, look, in if general, there's any more questions about whether Mezzi can do it against the big boys or not, uh, you probably haven't been watching the counter strike here in Pro League. Yeah. There's definitely questions when he went to Cloud9, sure. right? And then he, he was pretty good. And he now was. that he's had his endpoint stint where he said he's become a bit more versatile as a player, now in Fnatic, we're really getting to see the benefits of all that. I'll tell you what else excited me about that is the fact that Alex made it clear that he found, you know, the unification of such so many different personalities and cultures and uh, philosophies for the game. Hang on, getting a bit sketchy. It looks like it's all fine. The bomb planted safely and uncontested. Dexter's not going to be able to hit anything from there. May as well keep that AK with the one HP. So, but yeah, sorry, decent uh, find. Yeah, so you know, with Cloud9, he had so many different nationalities, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the roster was it was hard to combine and, and 
everyone to be on the same page. What he was suggesting was, is that transition's been easier for a couple of reasons. A, starting earlier, you know, having a full month to get everyone equipped before your officials. As well as that, it's the fact that you've already got kind of a package deal. Alex and Mezzi, familiar with one another and their philosophies, and you've got the whole Swedes who are also, you know, kind of just mashing two heads together as opposed to five. Yeah, and that was actually where I was going with like their CT side setup, because over towards A, yesterday with people were watching, they had Brolin over towards a ramp, they had Crims over towards window on connector, they had Jaquinho either floating between ticket with the AWP or window with the AWP, so they'd kept the Swedes together in, in some of these environments right. here. So, uh, And also, the thing is, even though Crims and Brolin stats in the last couple of months, or maybe the last six months, in this little demise of the Swedish yeah. fanatic weren't fantastic, they're still world-class players. Like, the entire team was just not operating, right? Because Golden and JW, they, they weren't keeping up. So yeah. in a lot of these games, it was it was quite difficult. Now you get to see Crims and Brolin playing their trade in a competitive-looking unit. We get to the first gun rounds. No yeah. AWP for Acor, though. I think the word I used was Crims and Brolin pr plugged into Alex's system. Mm. Uh, and I do think it, you do see evidence of that. It's exciting to see just T-sides with a bit of, you know, substance to them, as opposed to Fnatic's T-sides during what you alluded to, where it just sometimes just feel a little flaccid and disappointing, which we all are familiar with. Now, this boost is a risk. Careful. Now, oh, Rob should have him. He has no oh, info. Oh, wow, he's he actually no quite info. aggressive here, he Brolin. Has absolutely no info. What a gap. What a gap. How does he use this, though? The flank B. He should get a kill onto Dexter for free here. Frozen as well, Frozen and Dexter are both dead. You know, is he going to discipline or is he just going to take that first shot? He's definitely got the element of surprise here. This is going to ruin the day of Mouseport's first buy. All these M4s. Oh, Brolin. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's a bit of an awkward one. He adapts nicely and still strikes. What a recovery. That did get a little wobbly there. I think he wanted to give him a chance. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I've made it this far. Now you boys can know I'm here. So yeah. they mop up the mess. Brolin secures the rounds. And yeah, that was Rops's responsibility there. But you wouldn't expect a player to go that aggressive, right? Normally when they jump in for window control, they just make it across and they tuck themselves into that corner. I think that's what Rops was hoping for. So just a massive... Well, the tiniest of gaps and the massive outcome Result, from yeah. that. Fnatic get their fourth and seemingly for free. So everybody's staying up. This is a dream start to the T half here on Mirage. But can we just talk about the play? I mean, I don't know how much of that was just spur of the moment, Brolin's initiative, or actually by design, but it worked out to completely nullify Mouse. What a gap to Pip. Yeah, this here is something that we would uh, talk about. This is years ago. We're going back now, like the Hunter boost. Uh, yeah. and, and the reason that it was, was popularized because in Crazy, Hunter was getting away with it a lot. And Kassad, obviously, uh, from that same part of the world, he brought it for Renegades slash 100 Thieves to use. And they were using it quite a lot as well. So uh, to just see it get pulled off here perfectly, right? They, they've gotten 10 from the judges. It's the perfect landing, not a single splash. It just looked way too easy. Now, here I am. Did almost make a meal of it, <laughs> right? Almost make a meal of it, but he, he gets both kills regardless, right? So it looks a little bit sketch, but the play is perfect. Round is done. And Mouse can buy again here. AWP this time for A Corp. Robs flashed up. They want to try and have a little look out mid, and nothing to report. Chiquinho and Alex take cover. Take cover. Incoming. And they do want to continue that connector position. So just slowing down any mid crawls that Fnatic are considering. Are they going to reinitiate on mid here? That smoke has dropped on down now, and uh, they could flash and go again. They have so many bodies here close to contest. Frozen on shore, A core to help window, BMAS and ROPS. They're playing off of A. So this is a mid centric setup. Hmm. Don't forget, A core's responsibility for window. He's been very passive, unwilling to give away that opening peak. And so just holding the cross short, cursory glances towards the palace position, but this fanatic pause, they have cut noise since spawn and have slowly crawled their way up here. Look 45. at all the nades they still have. They've got a full band, dude. This is crazy right now. They could do whatever they want. It's about this first contact. And on the glance, they double peak oh, and it Brolin. works out for Brolin. Giacchino on to Acorn. Look at this. Oh, we go from dead silence for 45 seconds. And then you close your eyes for a millisecond. It's 1v3, a missed shot from Dexter. That should be the end of that. Double Molly, he's ahead of the pack, looking threatening. Dexter with two of the three, and Giacchino's low. He knows where you are as well. Dexter's done so much. He's pulled this round back 
Four mouse sports, and the hard part's done, you'd think. Giacchino. Time. Eight seconds. He's got to hunt down Dexter. He's going to have to be loud about Dexter's this. Dexter's done this. done the 1v3. Oh. Just the scout. <laughs> and he will close it out. Big from the in-game leader. And he puts mouse sports straight on the board by force. Well, he had the worst weaponry for his entire team there. Took the scout. Opted to go to the P250. Bruh. Gets it done with those two weapons. Double molly. He pushes ahead of them. Whew. Okay. It's kind of badass, really. When you consider how this started, like, Roland just essentially looks like he's won the round here. It's the even trade at that point. It looked like it was all over. Dexter ahead of the double molly. Dismissing that as, like, a failed round, right? Yeah, it's just a Dexter clutch. Sometimes yeah. they happen, you know? It found the perfect like, timing. The concept itself seemed pretty good in execution. It really cost Mouse Sports early. Flashes from Krims. Giacchino and Brolin to dip their toe into the A-Core. AWP. He's ready now. Vision, they are. He is peeking into a posted up orb though, and that's too easy for Giacchino. Yeah, that's uh, just this this pace that Fnatic is showing. Last round they just parked the bus on mid, now they're just creeping out A, playing the contact here. Rotates it on its way, Alex starts his late flank through. Oh, great flash! And Bemis with metal, multiple targets, gets housed with one. Leaves us with a 3v3, and Alex is, as we discussed, late flank is going round the world. They could go back to B here if they wanted. They're not committed completely to Tetris right now, but Alex is saying, hey, let's go A. I'll flank Frozen, who is aware. This is the duel. Oh, it's a big duel for Alex to try and win if his team had a flash. Alex. Oh, Frozen's looking away. Oh, just as he looked no! away. Alex tries to do too much. He robbed him. Stolen. Frozen denies, and that leaves Crimson Chikino wondering how they're supposed to find a way back in. Hmm. Yeah, Giacchino's orb might be the way in. More like a crowbar here. Yeah, hard clear required. Frozen will react on the contact Dexter finds. Safe bet. Oh, or not. Giacchino recovers. Frozen to react. Crims was posted up, so Frozen perhaps a little wiser. Planning safe. Plant safe and the orb posted up in a perfect angle to hold that. This is the real one. Giacchino. Multiple targets to contend with. A 2v2 for him and Grims. And down goes Grim. Giacchino to come up. Clark, he swings out. Frozen's ready. And Mouseport string together too. Oof, and one of the win conditions today for Mouseport is going to be the man just winning you another clutch. Right? Two clutches in a row here for Mouse Frozen. He's been showing good form. And if he can bring that consistency here into the Fnatic matchup, Mouse room with a real shot. Yeah, we saw Fnatic's clutches won and clutches lost in that stats matrix we brought up at the start of the show. 12-12, right? 12-12. Like, that, 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 that was the highest number in both categories mm. for all of the teams in the group, which just means there's a lot of 1vx action both ways. We see it getting the exciting counter-strike yeah. out of Fnatic, right? So, I think when you see a 12-3 comeback on overpass, you know that they're up to something. Oh, that one there, a lifeline for Maus again. But right now, consider this, they're holding on to this cliff just with their fingertips here. They're able to scrap the buy together one more time. But again, look how hampered it is. There's not a lot of util. Acor keeps getting this AWP, but he needs to find impact. And I find myself saying that every day when Mouse is in the server. Here he is, taking an aggressive line and at least spots out some players up on that catwalk. Smoked off for now, no contributions from Bemis. It's Frozen who's ooh, supposed to get some damage done, but the highest impact he's going to find is just through the communication he can make. He's gone with nothing to show for it. Oh, Robs is over in B right now, so if it's a B split, Robs can stop this. A little clunky for Alex, but he's cleared it. And they are returning to B. They've got no info A, so... It's a solid call. It just comes down to their way in which Robs and Dexter handle it. Oof. So they can set up for a full B exec here, and Alex just lurks up cat late. So if all the eyes are drawn to the B apartments, if Robs looks away for any moment, Alex can completely unravel this two-man B-hold. He opted for a glass cannon on Giacchino. Let's see if he finds an orc in the feed. Rob's baited in nicely, but they're into the site. And it gets very uncomfortable for these two. Has to save. You have to. Yeah, even though Acor picked up the loose thread that was Alex on the flank there, they just weren't able to lock down that attack. And retaking that B bomb site, not an easy task. And their fingers on that ledge, well, now it's maybe just a fingernail because these save rifles are going to keep them threatening into the next. But in terms of the finances, Mouse Sports are in a bit of trouble here. Because of those two one rounds in a row, this is the problem, right? When you only have one CT player stay alive and you save a gun, right, your loss bonus is also slowly starting to siphon. So uh, now they've found themselves in the 
2,400 lost it's bonus territory. It's known as the Virtus Pro Syndrome. Virtus Pro Syndrome. When you find yourself only saving one rifle and, ah. uh, and put into kind of a confusing economic disarray. Okay, and then you but the, just... But the solution, as Virtus Pro have demonstrated, is you just win rounds with only a saved AWP and USPs. Ah, yes. That's what you have to do. Okay. Consistently. Well, here's the thing, right? If, we, if we're going to be honest about Acor, his performance at the moment within the Pro League is the worst of mouse sports, right? The, statistically speaking, he is the lowest rated player on the team. Now, if your team is not built around a star AWPer, that's fine. But when you have somebody who's meant to be a flashy star AWPer like Acor, he, he either has to hit the easy shots, yeah. right? Or, or he needs to start hitting the hard shots because Maus really need that. And there's so much pressure on his shoulders just as an individual when you consider how hotly contested a seat at this table is. Yeah, uh, with international rosters. Honestly, right? dude, it's crazy how many talented individuals are gunning for these kind of seats. <laughs> they all watch Simple. Every man and his dog wants to be the star AWPer, right? So the generation of players coming up like that is huge. And that Ooh. was big as well. Dexter gets away with absolute murder. Bang! Oh, that's so perfect. They try and hunt down that retreating Dexter and it feeds Acor another. Brolin trying to put Fnatic back into contention. Hey, don't forget the buy is suboptimal. It's just the save rifles and it's worked wonderfully. He says it's the Virtus Pro strat. So yeah. uh, here we go. How far can they push this? It is threatening. Or you throw a couple of Deegs instead of those Usps and... Magic can happen. Roland's bottom is, is turned. B must collect. Those two saved rifles have both featured within the feed. And Mezzi and Crims looking to shape up a cheeky 2v5. Well, they spotted Dexter on the jump there. Frozen set up for success. Baited in a little bit. Crims is wise, though. He's played a lot of Mirage. He's not looking like he's going to consider it even at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Crims with the 1v5. What are you saying? Uh, he might get another, but I don't think he's going to do too much more than that. Not with the bomb perched on up right on the ledge there. Oh, Acor knocks his socks off and it'll be Beamus to collect the frag. So that's three for Mouse. And yeah, those fingertip analogies you've been using, you can see that that actually might be the changing of the guard now. There's a whole hand yeah. on the, on the ledge. Yeah, a grip. Dude, have you ever done, gone to the climbing gym and seen those fingertip holds? Yeah, they don't look easy. I, I, I mean, I can barely do a pull-up, of course, but the full fingertip... Done with the saved rifles and they even break the economy of Fnatic. So that's like a two-for-one special, right? You, you win a round, you shouldn't, and you force them into a place they don't want to be. And this is Mouse Sports' chance here to start working on their CT side. You're already down three to five. You'd be hoping for a nine-six half, you know, eight-seven at the best right now, because it is going to be highly contested here. And Fnatic have shown a bunch of different looks. We've seen set pieces. We've seen uh, just contact plays in middle. We've seen more aggressive mid maneuvers. And now we're just seeing some deagles. So. Without a whole lot of utility here to press them much more forward, it is just going to come down to finding the headshots. Rops gets the info. Yeah, maybe don't re-peak that one just yet. Some nades, at least, at the very least, pulled out of the CTs. And Alex is fully committing to this. He wants to try and find Acor. Acor's going to take some liberties, and that's the end of that. Krim's last man standing with his Kevlar vest and his Desert Eagle. Detached from the bomb and all of his teammates. Has a crack. Yeah, it's probably worth one kill there, but Rops will mop it up. A clean sweep from Maus, and now starting to warm into this. Now, they didn't punish them with the veto. You've already caught that conversation. Now it's going to come down to them, seeing if they can punish them in the server. For Fnatic, you can easily say that this team has already overperformed because the expectations, unless you're a Fnatic fan and you're just like, I want my team to do good, for the rest of us, had to be pretty honest, right? You had to come in here and go, okay, new team, two new players, new coach. Might take some time. They've already impressed. They've already exceeded expectations. And they've been playing some good counters, right? Let's see how far they can push that. Oh, he caused throwing some aggression into the mix. It's very on, very vogue at the moment, an aggressive Orp Peak Palace. Is he going to be as patient as Jame, who I swear sat here for 50 seconds the other day? But that was a product also of his uh, CT ramp, so... It's a synergy between Acor and Bemis. And any info on that mid pincer, like... Acor could get shot in the bottom if it's not smoked or held. It's currently smoked off by Fnatic. And Acor holds his nerve. He probably wants to start moving any second. Either push or fall back, Acor. And that's neither. 
And that's the end of him. Flanker does come in and leaves Bemis all on his own, surrounded by the entire Fnatic squad. Look at the minimap. He's just completely surrounded, enveloped by the brown and orange. And that's the end of that. Frozen does contribute one from the CT side. Bomb to be planted. Dexter does look like he wants to contest this and at least be a threat. Trying to find a gap over the smoke. Alex, oh, booked. Some leader on leader action. Dexter, very threatening. A good clawback from Jakino, who continues to be relevant and fragging in this uh, first map. These are the guys you want alive for a clutch here. Frozen and Rops might give this a go. Smoke check, kit check. Frozen would have to be the one to be defusing. Smoke's now sailing through the air, and that's the end of that. No time for Rops to work his magic here. Just going to try and take a couple on the way out. Okay, well, Fnatic, they stomached two rounds on the trot there for a mouse, but they're going to bounce back with one of their own here. And it was a pretty light buy. You can see that in the fact that Mezzi uh, has a Galil to his name, right? So they didn't even have everything they would desire for Fnatic, and they were able to get it done. And I think it just comes down to Acor. You could say missing the shot, but it almost feels like positionally he, over, he overstayed his welcome, right? The fact that uh, we've already seen from Fnatic a lot of these smoke lurks on their t halves where they just, you guys might remember where they've, you've seen them on overpass, they walk through the bathroom smokes and they appear on the other side and maybe they get a double kill or maybe they just get shut down. Those type of smoke gimmicky plays can catch you off guard and yeah, Acor just not aware of his surroundings, but he gets the AWP again, sets himself back up for a mid pick and Meanwhile, Fnatic, they're just going to waterfall out of Palace. They're going to be in A again. It's just yeah. Beamus here. No one's home. Like, Beamus is on the stairs, and now he's smoked off. They're already in the site. They have the site. They're planting? No, Jakino's just setting up for the potential. Okay. No one CT. They don't know it. There's so many bodies on the other end of that smoke. He still gets it down in front of their nose. Just keeping re-smoking this connector and jungle position and look at the space that Crims is starting to crawl for. Jaquino, wow. Alert and ready for the CT duel. It's a save. It like, has to be. How are you going to get back in here? Oh, he hears a lot. Crims piecing it together. Acor on the retreat. Ooh. Did land a bullet there into the leg of Bemis on his retreat. But yeah, Fnatic, that was very simple. A little waterfall out of the palace position. And good the mouse spots set up focused on mid. Yeah, so good calling. So mouse spots have gone, hey, let's focus on mid. Let's not give them control of that part of the map so they can't do those lurks up through connector like we just saw. Like they just did. Yeah, and Alex has just called his way around. <laughs> okay, guys, if they do a heavy mid setup, let's just go out Palace. We'll take the side. Easy as that. The fact that they didn't have somebody playing retake ticket, normally you would see that, right? But uh, mouse spots have gone all in on the mid control. So it's come back to bite them in a big way. Scoreline now, seven to four. The buy again here for mouse, but at the moment, not only are they getting outshot, they're getting outpositioned. It doesn't feel like we've seen Rops be able to get activated too much. Yeah, middle. And it seems Fnatic are going to be knocking on that door again. Well, Chaz, you nailed it. There is some uh, flavor of aggression to the mouse sports play. And Brolin's already booked him. Rops, before he even gets to fire a bullet, Brolin. The entry fracker with an M4, no less. Acor reveals himself. Chikino to trade. The bomb's loose in mid. Nice and that's shot. the shot you need. Bomb lose, Fnatic left wanting. And actually, Alex, he's got a bit of a gap here. Oh, he's not going to no, clear he it. he didn't clear it. Well, they still don't know, so he could get a kill or two in window here if he takes his time. There's oh, one okay. spotted. Oh, rude shock for Frozen. Hello. Alex just constantly getting under their skin. He's like peeling back fingernails. He's always on some sort of fruity lurk. He will go down. Crims onto the A core as well, which leaves us into a very peculiar clutch. Crims, he's a wise man. Let's see if he goes for it. He's got to piece it together. He knows that the info dictates Beamus A, Dexter B. Oh, the bomb on his radar there. I was just trying to pick that one up, but it's above him on the short ledge. So he's going to grab that any second, and he gets it for free. Now, Dexter and Bemis could both play sleeper positions. And by that, I mean they don't have to contest any choke points. They can just hide in a position where they just have to focus on one angle and let Crims into the bomb site. And as soon as he starts to plant, just spring on out and take him down. And now, with about 30 seconds left on the clock, Crims has to make a decision. Which bomb site do I want to end towards? If he starts running, Dexter's going to hear him. Just going to go for a full silent commit to B. So as long as Dexter doesn't move, he should win the round, right? As long as he stays up in this balcony position, as soon as the bomb starts getting planted, he can just walk on out and, and kill Crims. Oh, faked out. What? Crims! He's won oh. the round. It's all good. 
right? Threw his life on the line. It's a lot to lose considering the finances over there in the Mouse Sports camp, but whew, they get the round, right? So put his body on the line just to deny the plan. And that's twice now where Alex has looked like he's had round winning flanks mm. that haven't translated for Fnatic. At least he got a kill this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was unfrozen, so he got his revenge from the ticket flank earlier. And quite the recovery considering that double pair of frags there from Acor in mid. Good stuff from Acor, right? That was a hard shot to hit the second one, and, and he definitely showed a bit of flair there. So back underway we go. Mousesport's still in a chance to recover here. Mezzi with the AWP, so I guess with a Swarm wanting to apply a bit of pressure. Yeah, and we'll see him equipped with the secondary AWP on this CT side. If they go A, BMAS is in Sandwich. H how many is he going to get? Ooh, at least one, oh, maybe not. No. I know where you are. Zero, the answer. Acor with something. And now smoked off. Alex, good Molly. Yeah, very good. Stops the default plan. Safe side. Ooh, they're still trying to push the issue. Alex really wants to get this bomb down while the smokes are still up. Drops his flank is everything here. They need to buy time. They need to make this look convincing enough that they're just waiting for this util to fade to give Rox, Rox the gap. Alex hiding in plain sight. He hears all of this going down. and That might be it. Already contributing one. Yeah, as soon as Alex walks through, he will find that for, with ease. And Rops from uh, way downtown does arrive. But Fnatic's 8th is there. They will have won out the T half. This is our glimpse as to what the T side has to offer from Fnatic and their recovery pick when they can't access that overpass. Seems like Mirage might be second in command. Yeah, it's curious. I, I wonder why they didn't pick overpass when we had Mao's ban away Vertigo and Fnatic ban away Ancient, right? So one of the things that I think Yanko was alluding to is the fact that they have so much tape now on overpass. They still get it as the third in the series, which feels really safe. I didn't think that today Fnatic were going to be able to feel safe in the veto with Mao's, and they shouldn't have. They should Mao should have flexed on them here, but that shows you just how either there is lack of confidence in the practice on the other maps for Mouse Sports, right? What it, we're still learning what their, their map pool is. Go have a look on how TV. In the last three months, Maps plays for Maus. Is they've played everything at least once, but there's not a huge amount of matches there. So they're having a bit of a, an identity crisis as far as Maps go, I think. And they're taking a save here for the final round of play. It is just the Rops M4. And well, he needs to get in a position to be activated here, Rops. It's almost like when he has been close connected, he's just been bulldozed by that of Brolin. They need to set, well, he needs to set himself up. Need to try and grab some command of this game because in towards B they go, just Dexter here. Would have to do something magical, Dexter's Deagle. Come on, my son. Well, 50 damage will do. Yeah, well, then I think now the exits are the name of the game. And Alex is already starting to hunt here, so. <laughs> Did I tell you, someone messaged me <laughs> and saying, uh, by the way, Dexter is actually a real dad. Like, he's still, oh. like, the lie still hadn't... Oh. Yeah. Did you tell him it's not true? I didn't bother replying. Okay. So, guys, basically, let, let's catch you all up here. Dexter, in his... Messi, can you not shoot? I'm trying to tell a story In his here. infinite wisdom? He had, in his Twitter <laughs> bio, that he was like a qualified accountant or something, that he was the in-game leader for Renegades, that there was a couple of things in there, right? One of the things he had in there, that he was a dad, Yeah. right? Now, proud father, I think he said, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something along those lines, right? <laughs> so, I, at the time, Henry's scouting out players for Cloud9, and we're talking about different players, and um, we're talking about Dexter, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if Dexter would leave Australia, you know, like he's got a kid, yeah. and I don't know if he'd want to live in uh, overseas full-time, and I don't know if he'd, you know, you leave in the family. And then I had Dexter on a HLTV Confirmed episode, and he asked me about it, and he's like, no, like, I'm just trolling. Like, that's that's not real. We it's just, just a do a little trolling. It's just we just a joke. do a little trolling. Uh, so so uh, it kind of went that everybody thought, and I guess it came through me, yeah, nice that one. Dexter was a dad. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> he may have missed out on a couple of opportunities, but you shouldn't have silly stuff in your Twitter bloody bio. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. We learned the hard way. Dexter potentially a couple of years late to his career blossoming due to a Twitter description. Last round of our first half here in the first map. Fnatic's pick. They'd love smoke a tenth. Play. Alex is off for a little cheeky gambit through the smoke. Chikino flashes him through, and a bit of a gimped movement costs him his life. Brolin unable to contribute as well, and it's down to Chikino and Crims. Bemus, familiar turf for him, just crouching, hiding. Good spray. Does well to find Crims, leaving it all onto Chikino. Oh, and why? It does look like Mouseports have intentions towards the first letter of the alphabet for our pistol, Acor, our grand master of the smoke, towards that connector position. 
And I mean, there were some smokes on the CT side as well. Crims is going to be the early warning system here, Chad. And as the smoke lands, the rotate's on its way. Crims just completely foregoes the site. Yeah, and you can see here they are playing retake. It's Crims dropping all the way back into CT. They got two smokes for this. Yeah, so this is where it's going to get interesting because Alex has a full bag of nades here. Don't want to lose him. He should not rotate through the kitchen, uh, sorry, the window position by any means. And Brolin's actually on a bit of a flank here. So Brolin is the X factor in this retake. Now it's just about the time. Two smokes to be deployed. Here they come. And that's the end of Brolin. Nice shot out of Acorn. He's got utility to dump as well. And all the headshots are coming through. Ouch. Oh, oh that's why you put the P250 in Rox's hands. Mezzi has tapped away a couple. He need the ace and the defuse somehow. And with zero seconds left for him, he's just going to have a go. Fair play. Three people are loading their glocks into you. It will end poorly. And Mouse Sports is quite the opposite. That's a big seventh to be posting and should see a conversion here as well. Yeah, so if they're able to convert here against Fnatic, who, uh, the Fnatic of old, they weren't the team to necessarily go for all the four spies. So I'm curious to see if that's going to continue to be a theme or if Alex wants to get his lads equipped with some scouts, some deagles, all those good bits and bobs just popping off from Rops. If you're given the P250 and you're going through apartments here, impact is necessary and it will be the force by for Fnatic so this is an important round a very important round for Mouse Sports here yeah how many times have we seen that second round you know it looks so promising when you look at the left side of your screens that looks like a an eighth is already imminent I feel like they got away with the murder there for a second so the window smoke seemingly missed and they all teamed out middle so lucky the scout wasn't posted up if they don't flash this round Brolin could be set for one or two I mean, I know it's a common clear, and Rop's definitely far too wise to be not checking it, but Brolin, he's a threat. And if he has vision as you round that corner, he can make that deagle work as just he demonstrates up against Rops. He hears the pins pulled and he's tucked tail. He's managed to evade the hunt from Acor and Bemis. As I say that, great flash, great execution. Acor with a pair of frags that should be the eight. Should being the operative word. A couple of chances here for the Chikino Deeg, and looks like all's well that ends well. Great stuff from Acor, right? Obviously, people have been critical of him. I was just bringing it up there in the first half that as the Orpa, especially on the CT side on a map like Mirage, you've got to find some impact. Well, on the T side, we're seeing some impact. Necessary kills there, especially after your star player of Rops goes down first. So a big trade. Now let's just see how much Alex can find. I'm sure he'd love to get a gun here, carry that through into the next round of play. Hope that somebody comes saving in his direction. But now we should see the scores leveled at 9-9, as Fnatic will have to take more of a conservative eco round into the next. And in that first half, everybody from Maus contributed as part of that six. We had a Frozen clutch, we had a Dexter clutch, right? Think the, the first round was a Dexter one on three. Uh, you had Acor with a, a double kill here, there, here and there. I think uh, Rops with the same and BMAS just doing his best job. I think like to be the A defender like BMAS has to be, that's such a difficult role. Because you get left on your own a lot, right? You get left on your own a lot. And then if your mid players get pushed back, they leave a little bit of a lurky boy gap through the connector smoke or can be tough. But if he's a turret, he can do some damage with that great shot from Acor. Fantastic yeah. follow-up. Crimps just hit him with a nice shot in chat as well. I think he felt that one. There's the first click out of ramp and he loses his head on CT. And you could see why Acor might come out a little bit worried closer because of Brolin's positioning, right? So the fact that he was ready for that Crimps play, big stuff. Let's see, can Mouse Sports secure their ninth round? Spotted players going underpass, that damage being done. Going to keep Frozen on high alert here, and I'm sure he wouldn't like, uh, wouldn't mind a kill or two. Yeah, Galil versus Us, but I don't think I fancy Mezzi's chances. <laughs> well, Crimson's has gotten out. Frozen's going to clear this. 100% oh, he's going to clear this. Mezzi. Yeah. yeah, one of those, if you're going to play that position, everybody, Make sure you don't have a diffuse kit. That's the first piece of advice I'll give you. Sticks out. Second of all, good luck. HF. It's not easy to play that position. Oh, Alex flashed off the line and hoping for one quick free frag. It's too easy. <laughs> Look at that. The perfect weapon for the job as well, Chad. Just use Dexter as that nice, dynamic, mobile, strafey gazelle. So agile. And badoom. Clean stuff. These Just what we're looking for here. Make nine to nine as you prophesized. If they keep this one clean as well, this is great. It, similar scenes as kind of what Fnatic were doing in the early stages of their first half. They were keeping rounds clean. There you have it. 
Aiko gets the final frag, and they can operate operate with these exact weapons going into this round. Mousebots that don't need to upgrade anything. They don't need to bring out that AWP if they don't want. They have the luxury to do so here. And they will. So they've actually let Acor invest into his own AWP. Dexter's picked up his AK, and they've got rid of the MAC-10. So maybe nothing too cheeky or quick here. Maybe you would have liked to see that knowing that there's no head armor on the Fnatic side, but they do have full bags of Util and Jackinho on his AWP, and even a kit on Mezzi. Smoke towards window. Deep Molly being lined up here. They're already walking through, though. They're going to really be in very quick to this connector position. And Krim they jumped into him. Completely booked. That's an opening frag again out of Dexter. He's leading at the top of the scoreboard for Mouse. That's got to feel good. Look at all the space he's gotten right here as well. Gets the kill, takes the room. And if they kill Brolin over towards Ticket, you may as well call this one off. Dexter oh, has the rotation. No. If Giacchino even thought about it for a second going through that window, it's it's out of uh, out of access right now. Out of commission. Yeah. Oh, baited in by the Ooh. steps. Mezzi has completely pulled it back to a competitive field now. Giacchino. He's got two players knocking on his door, a third and a fourth arriving as well. Acor from Connector, two from the ramp position. And the Util's down from Mouse, so they've got about 15 seconds to try and use those as best they can. Roland, they want you dead to rise. Bullets and flames, they will neutralize the threat. And they're happy to slowly take control of this A site, it seems, especially now with the Mountain Advantage. Oof. This could become a problem, though. You were talking about the Util. It's starting to fade now, and that AWP of Jack Inyo can be a real problem. They need to decide, where are we going to plant for? And you'd love to get it open. So far, they don't have Connect to control. And if Alex goes through B to short, he could stop them from planting frontside triple. Yeah, that's a conversation Fnatic could be having here. And frontside triples the plant. Acor's the one oh, holding and does babysit nicely. No bullets for the hard work ahead. Mezzi might want to reload and back the hell out of there. Oh, Acor's just locked them in towards spawn here. This could be huge. If they take away all the guns from Fnatic, the buy next round is going to be looking flat. They can actually push the issue here. BMAS, if he gets a little bit closer towards CT, are they just going to let him save? Maybe that's the case here. Because Acor's not going to want to commit with this AWP here. Condemned to where they started. Oh. oh, down goes one. They want Jakino's AWP and they will perhaps push the issue. Bemis is on his way. They're coming. Kino Huge. loses it all. They've got nothing close to an AWP into the next round of play. Huge. That was that was great. Acor, great little maneuver there. The fact that he has the mindfulness there, drop the smoke, gets to set himself up with a better position here. This was Dexter as Crims just launches out connector. And it was meant to be an aggressive maneuver, right? You could see the two players from Fnatic coming short to help. So contesting mid was on the agenda. Dexter was just really quick and quiet about it too. I think he went for, uh, uh, he got baited in. He definitely got baited into that, right? Because Jackinho rotated. Mezzi came over to watch that vent. Jackinho ran and then Dexter picked out. So good little, but these are usually the most stressful rounds. Yeah, and all it takes is one aggressive MP9 running up the guts of middle. And he's got nothing to the report just yet. The rest on the Deegs and oh, they're coming to mouse spots so quick and easy here. Two opening frags for the mid fight. The rest should fall into place nicely. It's a... Uh, Division of about 2-1 for the CTs, hoping to find anything to bring into the next. Let's let's leave this music. It's a bit like... Um, du -du 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 -du. Yeah, it's like, who wants to be a millionaire where you're asking the question and they get the time to sit there in the chair? Yeah. And, well, and the camera's just like panning themselves. in on them? Well, no. That's kind of what our mouse sports are doing right now, especially after that Deagle shot. Yeah, that should stop them for a while. They are still edging in. I mean, if mezzi has got any more of those in the chamber... Uh oh, uh oh, Crims. Oh, but Mezzi, Mezzi with a real chance. His crosser was right there and with such low HP, it could have been a 1v2 for Brolin. He'd have loved it. But now I'm afraid for poor Brolin, his chances really are falling apart. Beamus confirms it, and Mouseports edging ever closer to the magical number of 16 here on Fnatic's pick. They have not demonstrated an ability to post a CT round yet, and I was talking all about how much I loved the Fnatic setup. Admittedly, they were running with a lot of momentum against FaZe, and I don't know how much uh, my opinion of their CT strengths was warped by FaZe's shortcomings on the T side. Well, I think here, if you're FaZe Clan and you drop that 12-3 lead, right, and you end up losing that yeah. game, they were pretty rattled. You can see towards the tail end a bit of tilt really creeping in, so I if they let any of that carry through to Mirage, that could definitely be a factor. But one factor that did really hurt FaZe Clan was the double orbs of Fnatic, and that button has been pulled, and 
and Mezzi consistently good for it. That's the end of Bemis if he does stick around. They double molly. Get the hell out of there. Mezzi knows he's hit the tag. <laughs> Audacious with the USP spam. <laughs> But the, the low HP, it's not the end of the world here, as long as they don't lose a number in the meantime. So Dexter clawing back some space. Aggressive flash over, and one towards ramp as well. Brolin calls things clear. Oh, I mean, it's over now. Brolin's got an org, and Mezzi's got an AWP. Calling it here. Scope abusers, man. Those damn scope Those abusers. bloody low-sense scope <laughs> abusers. All right, mid and A, and a deep smoke thrown out by Brolin. By uh, they had trouble with getting past Brolin before, remember? He took down Rops. We had the Deagle. By not underhanding it as well, he hasn't revealed that he was close. Oh, tucked into Sandwich. Chikino called upon oh, just to stuck. take it a bit of a risk with the Flames. Tagged up. Brolin, only the one. Mouseball's looking set for another here. Where did those frags come from? I couldn't quite piece it together. Well, Bimas threw the Molly on Jackinho, which melted him out, right? right? And Brolin was in that Sandwich position. And Crims over towards window got dealt with. So it all happened very, very quickly there, but it looked like it was going to end poorly. The fact that the Molly got dropped ramp and Bimas was the only one to die who was the low HP player, that was the best death they could have stomached in that moment. Otherwise, they could have lost one and then Bimas to maybe an odd flame, an odd nade. Dexter wants the AWP a little bit. He's like, he's considered it. Yeah, it's a good hunt as well here because Mezzi has two angles to worry about. And now that he drops back, he'll negate one of the two with a smoke. I think Dexter will gladly push through They're it. They're coming for you. Oh, he's so screwed. Holding his nerve, multiple positions, pushing him at the same time. And the first miss, this AWP is not coming with him to the next. Ouch, that hurts. And a worthwhile gamble out of the Mouseport squad. They twist the knife 12 to 9, but even worse, they've shattered the CTs, the finances. It's looking really good here on this T half for Mouse. Let me tell you just how good. They have only conceded a total of, let me do some quick maths here, uh, eight kills in total on this half. So Ooh. we have had uh, the first six rounds of play. They've only considered eight deaths. Right? Two on the pistol, one in the follow up. They had a clean sweep round for the third. Lost two, lost two, lost one. So going, th these are these are clean and easy rounds. They're avoiding the stress. Got the greedy for that one, Rob. Strafes into the flames in pursuit of Crims. And Mezzi in mid. Flirting with some aggression. Yeah, so right now, I don't want to say it's looking desperate for Fnatic, but they are just trying to go for individual frags there. You can see yeah. from Mezzi, he's on his lonesome, trying to find a timing, trying to find a gap. And those gaps, they keep coming for Mouse. Two more kills on towards the A site. Looking to keep this one clean as you like, as Jaquinho onto Dexter. Gives away his position. They only have Alex to find, and they know that he's the B player. So all the information is currently where it needs to be for Mouse. They just need to get the objective done and not give up too many more casualties. Great flash. Yeah, that's Great follow-up. That's the teamwork. Right, if your team is communicating, right, like in those elements, like BMS is like, okay, I've got control, I can flash for you. If you're doing those things as a team in the highest level, that is so huge. Like it should be considered the basics, but sometimes people not? are too, well, it should be, right? I, I don't know, I haven't been in team comms or professional team sure. in some time. That's one of the things where if you're not constantly like, cause that's not on. Managing their movement to synchronize with it. Double orbs are out. Let's see if Fnatic can recover in any capacity. As he fires off a warning shot, Crims has had a bit of a struggle. Not this time. The flash is perfect and the peak too. Double straight out of the gate for the Fnatic defense. See, that time there, they didn't drop their own defensive smoke bottom of a connector. They were swinging out when they had vision, so not through the gray screen. What more do Maus have to say in round number 23 here? Because they've been cut off at the knees. They will have to operate. Ooh. With a man disadvantage, but a space advantage here for Acor. I'm not sure if they're... Well, maybe it doesn't matter now. Frozen's gone down in the meantime. I was starting to get excited by the prospects of Acor up close and personal with some AWP work. Look at the angle from Alex. Oh, and Acor was even ready for it. Alex just does eliminate the threat. And this could be the spotless changing of the guard. Fnatic to respond with, I believe, their first CT round. And it's not going to be flawless after all. Rox is here to make it costly. Nine, six, half, and it's taken us to 13 to nine with Mouseports just flying start for their T side. Rox, okay, they put a lid on him. Stop him from taking too much away and even an AK for good measure. This is the first round in the CT side that Fnatic have gotten more than two kills in a round, right? So the multi-killer crims here is huge. That has gotten them to par of where they have been in previous rounds.
within the first 15 seconds. So great job there from Crims. And it's difficult to account for that all the time. So a nice little aggressive maneuver. Now we get to see this one really kick off because We've seen what Fnatic have to offer. They want to take the fight. They know that the double orbs are in the mix. How does Dexter respond? A lot of pressure back to middle this time. The CTs really want to make mouse sports work for that control. Oh, they're working on A space here. Yeah, and it's Rops going to be the sharp object. Free aiming the jump for info. Brolin's going to get Molotov here, and the smoke will not keep him safe necessarily. Extinguish in, but Dexter puts Jackinho out. Oh dear, lots of space now on the A side, and already oh, bodies are beautiful. dropping. Fnatic just ripped out of the server. Nice catch from Mezzi. He'll upgrade to the M4 for the rest of this fight, and he is a threat. Frozen very low. Mezzi lingers, but over the top. Oh, oh dear! Bemis has gone down as well, and Mezzi's made this competitive after all. There's still a minute of play. Alex all the way down. That smoke won't protect him. Gave if him anything, away, it gives him it? away. He's got full HP. Some degree of a surprise as to his position. Maybe he can catch that low HP on Frozen, but it's the healthy Dexter, last spotted CT, that he's going to have to be concerned about as well. Dexter just looked away as well. Oh, he's, he's heard the so reload. Space, he's so heard the space. reload. He knows where Frozen could be. Jumps up, and that's the end of that. Ooh. Close. He's always threatening, isn't he? Alex's reads. This time gets debunked, but regardless, it's 14 now for Mouse Sports, and just two rounds separating them from... This will be a very very important map to be posting in a series like this and a crunch time series for mouse sports as well yeah look we'll go over the gravitas of what everything needs means throughout the day yeah. right but I, I think the most important thing that you guys need to keep in mind is if you want your team to go through it doesn't matter who your team is they pretty much have to win today and tomorrow right that's probably the easy way to do it we'll get into the details of that later on but that right there, that round, it looked great from Maus. Mezzi changed the conversation, and it was a simple play. It was last round they went aggressive mid, so let's feign mid control, let's creep and take some A space, and then we'll creep through mid when they have to respond. Oh, Brawl in the turret activated once again. This is his site. You're just visiting. Oh, that is the end of him, actually. Good catch from Rops again, finding so much impact from the palace position as another falls. Crim's caught out. Orb flashed off. This is great from our sports. What counters double orbs, Chad? Quick A pops. You're just sitting there holding on to it with nothing left from all of Fnatic crumbling. Now, this has been great from Mouse, hasn't it? Like, there's been some games, you know, you're questioning, oh, they look a little bit lost, or their map picks haven't gotten them across the line. This is good. Like, they picked up the win yesterday against EG. Maybe that's all they needed. You can shrug that one off, go, all right, we've got a W out the way. For Fnatic, if you are a Fnatic fan, they do go up against EG tomorrow, right, as the final game of the group. And if EG lose again today, they're out. And then Fnatic, for them, they, they have to secure that win because everybody else has. Jaquino doing everything he can to save. Some stylish shots, but foregone conclusion. This one, 15 to 10, and now it's about five consecutive rounds for the Swinglish. The, the Swedish English. Okay. To convert. So we even keep this one as a conversation on the first map here. So what uh, did he, he just, oh, he just, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, classic Rob spam. stuff. Yeah, just take a couple pot shots through the smoke. You know how it is. Okay, three Famuses, an M4 and an AWP walk into round 26. So Dexter's legit. Y yeah. I mean, it's taken me a while. Dexter's legit. Five in a row required from Fnatic. It should just be foregone conclusion. The Mouse Sports can at least keep this pressure up. There's been no evidence. I mean, one round from Fnatic to demonstrate their defensive capabilities here. It looked very, very good for Mouse Sports so far. And they've gone for a four-man A-lean, a product of all of that exploited A setups. Only Famas light on util. It will have to be the bullets, a hero moment out of one of those black and orange members. And it seems like it's the right call as well out of Mouse. Dex is calling a good game here. Alex's smoke will only keep him at bay for so long. Beam is to arrive late from short. Oh, aggressive play. Alex has to go huge here. <sighs> yeah, he's got Mezzi as well, but that's... Maybe a flash from Mezzi as it fades. Brolin's pushing T-spawn. I don't know if that's going to matter. Oh, the smoke. It's too late. Mezzi's got so much to do. The pop flash is there, and that's the entries from Frozen. Delivers for Mouse Sports. You said he would be one of the players to keep your eye on most. And he's delivered when he masses most. Mouse Sports, they put 40 seconds ticking away, and 
Fnatic's hopes and dreams of converting their Mirage fall away. Two from short side. Dex has got a real potent angle to at least confirm the swing. And confirm the round perhaps as well. Yeah, just one more remains and call it.